As I've said, HTML describes what is in a website. Not what it looks like, not what it does, just what is in it. So there's specific syntax that we have to use to write. The word syntax basically just means the order of words and um, symbols that we have to use when we describe something in a language, right? So the syntax in English is like the specific spelling, right? And where am I going to put a comma? Like that's all part of the syntax. In coding, the syntax is what you type on the keyboard. Here specifically HTML, there's a whole bunch of these angle brackets and forward slashes and equal signs and little quotes. The way we use these angle brackets and slashes is to create what we call tags. So an HTML tag, first of all, it'll come in pairs. So there will be usually an opening tag and a closing tag, right? And then you put content between these two tags, right? So here's the tag that says tag. And here's the closing tag. It's of the same type, right? So this one, this one refers to closing that. I think the slash is a nice, nice little way to say, like, I'm closing, right? And everything that you want to put into this tag name tag goes in here. We use these tags to describe the content, so there's specific like, hard-boiled like, tags that are built into HTML. The first one that we'll talk about is H1. So H1 describes a heading, right? So a heading is like a big important piece of text, right? Um, there's a P tag. P stands for paragraph, so that'll be any like, body content, right? Now one thing to really get before we move on, right? is when I talk about heading and when I talk about paragraphs in HTML, I'm specifically talking about the meaning of a heading, right? So a heading, like a, an H1, the most important heading in a website is the title, right? An H2 is something that's less important than the title, right? When I talk about paragraph, I mean a bunch of text, where, like there will be a lot of it, right? So if I'm talking about a newspaper, there's like lots of text of a certain type, we can call that paragraphs, right? Don't necessarily start thinking about what this is going to look like. HTML is all about the meaning of it. So how important is one thing over another? What does it like semantically mean, right? So basically any text I write in here, hello world. If I save it and then I go and refresh on my website page, I'll see that there's a teeny little, where'd it go? I zoomed out. There's a teeny little hello world here. Um, and it's smaller than the thing that was in H1, right? And now you're like, okay, well, Nima, you just told me that HTML is all about what the thing means, and now I'm seeing that the Nima Vascarino is bigger than the hello world. What is this? I'm done. I'm leaving. This is lies. No, okay. So a browser has built-in CSS, <laughs> which we'll address. So by default, you'll see that, okay, if I go P or if I go in H1, there will be some default sizes. If you're not locked into that, right? That's just default, and we'll change it later. So... We go, I got my Nima Bascarino, I got my Hello World. And there's a special tag. So there's, there's all these like, specific tags. One of them is the comment tag. This is what a comment tag looks like. It starts off with, with this angle bracket and an exclamation mark. Like, hey, it's a comment. And then two dashes. And then you can write anything you want within, within that until you go dash, dash, and you close it off like that. Right? So, this idea of commenting is very common to code. Now, the basic structure of an HTML document, specifically the one we're looking at right now, it starts off like this. There is a crazy tag that lives on its own and it says doc type HTML. This is useful because the browser is going to, when the browser reads your web page, it starts from the top and it goes all the way down to start constructing what the website's going to look like. So right at the top it knows, okay, I'm looking at an HTML document. I can use my, my HTML strategies uh, to display this stuff. And then there's the one main tag that we're going to have building the website, which is the HTML tag. This is the main object. We've said, okay, the language is English, sure. Then there's this thing called a head tag, right? And we'll look at, we'll look at what the head tag specifically does, but it's, it's all sorts of like meta information about a website. Right? Maybe a website is specifically for phones. You would put that somehow in the head tag. Right? Maybe, um, maybe you want to do some special stuff for like screen readers. Right? You, would, you would put some information in the head tag that says, hey, this thing is good for screen readers. Right? Um, 
maybe we want to start linking, uh, as we'll see, CSS files in here, right? We're going to see how to insert that into the head information, right? Uh, and then the title. The title goes in the head. And the title is the thing that shows up when you're looking at a tab. Now notice, I have Nima's, let me bring this down a little bit. I have, I have Nima's website written here. Uh, it's really small, but take my word for it. It says Nima's website. Nowhere on my actual thing do you see Nima's website, right? If you were looking at this on a phone, or if you were looking at this, actually, you know what? We'll go full screen. View, and I say don't show the toolbar. Nowhere on this page does it say Nima's website, right? So the head section is all the text that you put in that doesn't get shown, right? It's like contextual information. Yeah, you know, show the toolbar, and then this small again, cool. OK. Um, and we'll, we'll start analyzing like, this thing deeper and deeper. But the HTML object is made up of a head section and a body section. The body is all the body of your website. And we're going to do a lot of stuff in here. That's where all the page content goes. OK. So we have the HTML element. And as we see, this thing, I kind of glossed over this. I said, oh, language is EN, English, right? Um, the anatomy of an HTML tag. There's the name of the tag, and then inside of the beginning of the tag, we can put all sorts of little information, and we call these attributes, right? These are attributes about the tag that we're talking about. So here I have an HTML tag, and it's got the attribute, ooh, the language is English. This is just extra information that might be useful, right? And you go, here's a meta tag, and I've said something along the lines of, ooh, this stands for character set, char set. Character set is UTF-8. Just think about it as like, oh, uh, this is the specific kind of keyboard we're expecting. Um, I'm not really going to go into this. But, but it's saying information about the website or information about the specific tag. And we're going to see that a lot of these, a lot of these tags take all sorts of um, parameters to go into them. 